What's up guys, happy Monday to you. I know my day early, but like I said, I wanna get this lamp build underway. Plus I got a couple other projects going on as well. So last video, that was kind of just an intro to the lamp build, giving you guys a glimpse of some of the materials I'll be using. I got the rest of the course on cherry in stock now. Everything's good to go. So stay tuned for part one of the custom veneer ambient lamp build. Thanks for watching, I hope you guys like it. Slap joint in the center, as well as the bottom cross piece, same cross slap joint in the center. Now, what's going to happen next is we got to cut some tenons. We got a half inch by half inch uh, square post. There's four of them. We need to cut some uh, three eighth square by 15 16 of an inch long tenons. Now, I set up a stop using a spring clamp that's 15 16 of an inch from the blade, and the blade is raised a 16th of an inch high. Now to cut these tenons, since the blades only raise a sixteenth of an inch, there's a little shortcut I'm going to show you guys. So let's uh, hop over to the saw and I'll show you guys that shortcut. Three inch tenon. 15 16 of an inch long. It's a lot quicker than the whole back and forth thing, I think. On to the next one. Alright, guys, so that was part one of the custom veneer ambient lamp build. Hope you guys liked it. I'm having fun making this thing so far. It's gonna be an awesome project when it's done. Gotta give a salute to Woodworker 631, Brian and Mark for the veneers. Thank you guys very much for that. Um, I've never made a lamp before, especially one like this, so it's gonna be awesome. Next week, we'll work on the veneer side of it and get this thing put together looking like a lamp. So, with that being said, if this is your first time floating on by, please subscribe. I appreciate the support. If you already subscribed, give me a like and leave me a comment. I appreciate the continued support. And don't forget about James Green's pen challenge. That started yesterday. I got that video coming up in a couple of weeks. I'm looking forward to that. I got something really cool planned for that. It's for the troops, so it's got to be banging. And I got part three of the curio cabinet coming up next week. If you haven't seen part one or part two, that's here. And uh, with that being said, thanks for watching. Keep cutting, stay screwing, and have a good week. Tool Junkie 555716, over and out.